Ah, yes. Clash of Clans. I love this game, but it's definitely not perfect, and over the years I'll add all my steam out in this series. This is episode 9 of 25 Things Players Hate in Clash of Clans, and boy do I have a lot to talk about. It's been almost a year, so let's get right to it. Let's do this. Accidentally accepting someone who doesn't meet the requirements in the clan. Trust me, you don't want to be the one to deliver the unfortunate news that they were an accident. It's like finding out your parents didn't mean to have you. Accidentally leaving your progress base active with no shield. Yeah, the only progress you'll be seeing is your store just repairing themselves when you get back home. <laughs> I hate when this happens, it's so damn easy to forget. When you have unclaimed awards in the past that you can't claim, so you're stuck with an annoying notification on the damn button. Look, some people don't care, but me, I cannot log on without clicking every notification, believe me. And this one just doesn't want to disappear. I know I have stuff to collect, but I can't, so stop reminding me. When they've removed the progress bar from the upgrade screens. Ah yes, everyone's favorite part of the update. It was a good way of showing progression over time, and when you finally saw it fill up to the end, it felt very satisfying. Don't get me wrong, I love the new info screens, the previews are dope, but just add some kind of progression bar back. Double cannons and archer towers. Man, I'm so glad that after Town Hall 14, there's none of that sh**. No one likes doing cannons and Argent Towers in the first place, but f*** it, let's just start doubling it after Town Hall 10. They feel like a massive waste of time. Think of how much faster maxing would be if it wasn't for those damn things. When the leader or co-leader gives clan bonuses to themselves. Damn, would you look at that. I accidentally scrolled to the bottom of the results and gave myself some medals. Crazy, right? You know, sometimes they don't even try to hide it. It's like, good job, everyone. Even though I suck booty hole in this season, I get medals because I'm the leader. Yeah, I know the drill. If you ever witnessed this, it's time to find a new clan. How every time you use the sort button, it resets when you close the clan screen. Of course, the only time I need to use the button, it's being annoying as shit. This may not seem like a big deal, but it's incredibly annoying when you're trying to kick all the inactives out of your clan, because the easiest and fastest way is to sort it by last active, right? But every time you kick someone, it closes that screen and resets the button, and then you gotta do the whole thing over again, and it's just like, ah, they gotta fix this. Literally unplayable. When your mirror in Clan War is a higher talent hole than you. Gotta love that pristine matchmaking sometimes. Matching you up with someone that you have absolutely no chance in 3 Starry. If you're lucky, they're rushed, but that's not the case every time for f**k's sake. How you gotta switch your army every single time in a clan capital if you wanna use something else? Ain't no way we're still manually training armies like it's 2015. <laughs> Maybe I complain too much, but I can't be the only one who hates doing it. I don't even remember what army I was using last time because I don't, like, there's no way to save it, you know? When they keep releasing fire ass sceneries and skins and you keep buying them, but you don't want to. You know, I always thought how cool it'd be if there was a skin set with all skeleton heroes of the same colors as a Night Witch. You know, last year's Halloween Queen skin wasn't like the whole I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Being just a couple medals away from what you need in the league shop. God damn. Now I gotta wait a whole damn month. And sometimes I don't feel like waiting either, so I just take the L and buy something else that's not a hammer. When no one wants to attack the district with over 90%. <laughs> Come on guys, everyone's acting like the district has ligma. If it's that big of a deal, I'll do it myself. What's a couple extra capital gold? We're all getting the same ray medals anyway, right? And if your clan is on top of your ass about not contributing much based on your capital gold or some sh**, I think it's time to find a new clan. Some clans take the game way too serious and ruin any fun you could have got out of it. The Goblin Builder. <laughs> It's not even about the feature. I don't care. If you got the gems, spend it. Who cares what you did with your money? But why does he look like that? I just want to dropkick his ass. Why did they make his face look so punchable? I pay him 100 gems to unsee it. Nah, but for real though, he just looks very annoying. He's got one of those faces, man. When you try an army from YouTube and keep failing at it. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. <laughs> that looks so easy. Watch this. 
Of course. Of course! The notification every time you attack in the builder base. Why the f do I want to see a confirmation of the attack that I just did? But that's not it. It gets worse. Sometimes, or every time, it doesn't even take you to the correct screen. I click it and it opens the fing clan mail. This has got to be a bug. There's no way this is how it was designed. It's so damn annoying. When someone requests to join the clan and you accept them, but they already joined another clan in like five minutes, <laughs> why the hell did you request to join them? What, you think someone's on 24 7? Huh, been waiting for four milliseconds and no one's let me in. Must be a dead clan. <laughs> When you see more grass in the game than in real life. <laughs> yeah, I don't go outside. Sometimes I get that clash itch and just play more than normal for a few days. F going outside, these walls ain't gonna farm themselves. Normally I'd say I love doing this, but sometimes staying indoors playing clash instead of going outside makes me feel like a lazy sh**. When both clans in the war finish all their attacks, but you still gotta wait. The hell are we waiting for? No one can attack anymore, so it might as well just automatically end itself. But let's be honest, it wouldn't even happen that much because everyone doing their attack is a f***ing miracle. <laughs> However, it would be a neat feature. How you need to win like 30 battles to afford an upgrade in the builder base. Don't get me wrong, they've definitely improved the builder base significantly, but it still feels like a damn chore to me. Everything is still too expensive and takes forever, and for what? Once you got what you came for, it's like, peace out, bitches. No, for real though, the grind is very real for so little reward. Not being able to drop out of Legends League. If you're unaware, once you reach Legends League, you can't go back. You can't just be like, never mind and drop trophies. You can't lose from attacking. The only way to drop is to lose trophies on defense, which can take forever. Out of the four years this new system has been in place, I still don't understand why there's no other way to drop from Legends. Some people go up there and realize it's not all it was hyped to be and have a heck of a time trying to get out of it. Not being able to demote someone by clicking their name. You ever just want to kick someone immediately, but you gotta navigate through buttons, menus, scrolling down looking for their name. It's like, hold on a minute while I process your application to be kicked. <laughs> Hell yeah, that'll show him. When the clean and server are out of sync. What? The f is that supposed to mean? What does it have to do with me? <laughs> to this day, I still don't know what exactly that means, but one thing I know for sure is that it used to happen a whole lot more back in the day. I hated it, especially during an attack. Jesus Christ, why did it always happen in Clan Wars? When the clan dies and you get a visit from an old friend. <sighs> Sometimes you think you'll never see the day. When someone speaks the last word or sends the very last request that nobody filled. <laughs> but maybe the villager is right. Maybe it's time to move on. Tornado traps. Yeah, I just hate the whole damn trap. What genius thought of making a trap that basically allows the defenses to shred your troops for seven seconds? Seven seconds! Do you know how long seven is? I hate it and I know I'm not the only one. For sure, it's so easy for it to ruin your attack. It's invisible and unpredictable. And I know that's the whole point of a trap, but it's just a lot of value for one trap. It probably wouldn't be as big of a deal if it wasn't seven seconds. That's all I'm saying. That one member in your clan who keeps getting one or two stars because they swear by their army and don't want to change it. Look man, it's kind of annoying. You always want to be striving for three stars. Two is okay, but if you keep getting one every war, there's either something seriously wrong with your army or you. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's probably a skill issue. <laughs> My advice is to never stop learning, all right? If your clan says that you could do better, they're probably right. So guys, that is it for this episode. I really apologize for the long waits between these episodes. I guess it's a good thing that there's only been nine episodes in six years. Shows how little I hate about Clash, eh? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.